Good Cyber, powered by CyberKnife. We have now with us Mr. Yas Hawari, a celebrity and a legend of the industry here in the Middle East. He's the managing director for the Middle East, Turkey, and North Africa at Immersive Labs. Welcome, Yas. Pleasure being here, man. Uh, I'm so, not a celebrity as you. <laughs> no, 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 of course. Thank you. That. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Yas, yeah, um, today, you know, everyone has been talking about the skill shortage in the cybersecurity industry yeah. for many, many years now. You yeah. know, this is not a new problem, right? But the skill shortage continues to somehow be the case every year as even though we have more and more people coming into the workforce, there's always a skill shortage. Yeah. And training has always been a challenge, yeah. right? How does Immersive Labs attempt to solve this critical problem in cybersecurity? Absolutely. So if you look at the cyber world that we're living in and the statistics show that there is a 4 million job gaps in cybersecurity this year. And if you look at the amount of breaches that are happening, like 30, every 39 seconds there is a breach that costs about $30 million. Absolutely. And the conf confidence of executives is not there when it comes to, is my team ready to respond? 100%. So this is the challenge. And in order for you to fix it, unfortunately you cannot be always relying on awareness and training. From our perspective, there is a big difference between awareness and being ready. 100%. So being aware of something, I get the content, I read it, and I'm aware of it. Being ready, how do you basically build muscle memory when an incident happened, you know exactly how to respond and how to react. And this is basically on the technical side of the business as well as on the non-technical side Absolutely. of the business. So what we have done as Immersive, we understand that you know, uh, instructor-led training and all of the different things that organizations usually do today to teach staff is meant to push the knowledge to the, to the person without having the right mechanism of measuring if that person has the right skill set that I require in my business or not. And the threat landscape is increasing dramatically, you know. There's a threat every day. There is multiple threats every Absolutely. day. So how do you basically make sure that you have the right skill set to respond to the new threats? Teaching them and sending them to training is not the right answer. So what we have done, we created a platform that upskills technical and non-technical people based on up-to-date content that our research and development are doing by looking at the recent threats in the world. So we have a dedicated staff that looks at the recent threats, develop gamified content, very nice make it content. Fun. <laughs> Absolutely. So teaching is boring sometimes. Of course. And having you know, a gamified version of labs is, right. is the way to go. And we've developed technical content, non-technical content. And the cool part of, about it, we developed even a crisis simulation in a fun way. Look at that. So when a CISO goes to the environment, turns a crisis simulation for the executives, it's not going to be death power by PowerPoint where you need to pick, choose A, B, and C. It will be a scenario that will last for days in the environment until they fix the crisis. Fantastic. Sound, sounds brilliant. And you know, today when you look at the traditional way that people used to get trained, right? They send one or maybe two resources somewhere in the world with flights and hotels to some certification somewhere. Absolutely, yeah. Right, but that's not scalable, right? True. So from what I understand, there is a tremendous amount of content within the Immersive Labs platform. I think over a thousand labs, if I'm not mistaken, 1700 right? 1,700 today. MashaAllah, 17, 1,700 labs that are in the actual um, platform, uh, platform yeah. today, right? And so that kind of access that each organization can have for all their employees, how is that gonna change the game for this overall skill shortage in the industry once Immersive Labs becomes ubiquitous across the industry? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we run today upskilling for nationwide in the world. Um, we have countries that comes to us saying, we want to upskill our, our people. We want to train as much as possible. We want to make sure that they have the right skill set before they go to the, to the job. And we have these nationwide programs. But when you look at an enterprise today, the challenge is an enterprise. How do you hire the right technical skill set? So usually you just do an interview, background check, and you hire the person. But you don't know if this person is really qualified for the technical skill set. Number two, how do you up ensure that they have the up-to-date knowledge and how can you retain them in the environment and reduce your attrition rate? Because it's a very important topic within, within the enterprise. Absolutely. And how do you frequently do crisis simulation and as periodic as possible? Exactly. By adopting our platform and all the modules with it, 
when you want to hire, you can literally change your hiring process in the organization by sending these gamified labs to the external people right. and tell them, you know what, I want a pen tester. I want you to finish lab one, two, and three before I interview as a CISO or as a, a SOC manager. Validation. Exactly. And then you take the right decision that this is the right resource that I want technically. And then when you move one step, one step further, you hire that individual. How do you ensure they have the upskilled or the uh, updated skill set within the platform? Excellent. Sending him to a flight and training, the content usually is, is out of date. Of course. Our Threat Intel team generates labs or our content team generates labs within nine days of turnaround wow. of finding the threat. Imagine that. Imagine that. And sometimes we and do it very, very quickly than that. Sometimes really? we do it within two days. So that means that the platform and the amount of labs we have, we have are up to date talking about it today, 1,700. If you log in tomorrow, you might find 1,800. There you go. Based on the Constantly threat landscape. Updating. Absolutely. Brilliant. And we can run as many crisis simulation as you want us to run within the environment. Beautiful. So when you think about these three things, even if a resource you know, wants to change jobs because they're paid much more in another company, sure. you still have the framework to recruit the right talent Excellent. that matters to you and you still have the framework to upskill them quickly. Critical. And the beauty about it, as well from a platform, is that you map everything to a framework. So the MITRE ATT&CK framework, we have it out of the box in, in our portal. You log into it, you will know exactly how many people you have for that particular skill set in the Excellent. organization. That's awesome. Final question, just to close out on this, the way I see it is that, you know, you could have an IT manager, you want to train them into a SOC analyst, you've got an ability. You've got a penetration tester, you want to make them a reverse malware engineer, you have this ability, right? How does this all tie together? I believe there's this very well-known, nice uh, framework that's used in training, right? And in security these days, how does Immersive Labs map to the NICE framework and how does that all tie into these, these kind of different courses and these different trajectories for people to go across their career? Yeah, so, so training is extremely important. So when you train somebody, you teach him the skill set of that particular thing. Uh, but the challenge is with cyber, the threat landscape changes. So we plug beautifully within existing training programs. For example, our platform today is used by the majority of universities in the Middle East. Look at that. And the curriculums today in the universities, and I had the pleasure in the stand in Jitex to meet a person who told me, I am, I am a master, I'm applying for a master's degree in one of the universities in UAE, and he's telling me I'm using immersive labs. Amazing. I said, wow. So that's a, a clear validation that we fit within the education curriculum Excellent. within any university. And we can just throw updated content into these people coming in. Excellent. Awesome. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure, Thank sir. you so much for coming in. Take right. care. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for everything.